In the Gospel of Mark, there's often this sense of immediacy, as we see in today, where people just seem to drop everything that they're doing and immediately follow, follow Jesus. And he kind of sets the tone for his whole gospel um, in this story that we have today. Um, as we see Jesus beginning his public ministry, the first thing he says is, I'm sorry, I have to do this all the time anymore. There we go. <laughs> the first thing he says, that Jesus says on his public ministry is, this is the time of fulfillment. And then he encourages, invites people to repent and believe in the gospel. And so that's really what the underlying theme of Mark's gospel throughout, as if we were to read it from beginning to end, is this idea that we will find fulfillment in Jesus and in him alone. And this sense, if that's the case, then why do we tend to wait or put that off? Why not just drop what we're doing right now and follow Jesus and come after him? Before Jesus begins his public ministry, we're reminded that in the Gospel of Matthew that he goes out into the desert for 40 days um, where he's tempted by the devil. Um, and those three temptations that the devil gives him are the, the, the three main temptations that human beings tend to face. Uh, that first temptation that Jesus experiences is turning uh, stone into bread so that he can eat. He's been fasting for this all this time. He's weak, he's vulnerable, he's tired. And that's usually when the devil likes to, uh, to attack us. And so that temptation of eating is actually the temptation of earthly pleasure, of, of consuming the things that this world has to give us a sense of fulfillment. And Jesus is able to reject that temptation. The second temptation that Jesus faces is one of pride, of, of finding fulfillment in one's own self, self-importance. And Jesus is able to reject that. The last temptation that, that Jesus uh, faces is this sense of finding our self-worth and our value in the things that we own, our possessions, or the power that we have. And Jesus is able to reject that. So when Jesus comes onto the scene and his first words are about fulfillment, what he's teaching in that moment in time is that our self-worth, our value, our dignity is always going to be found in him. The fullness of that will be found in him. And so he invites us to drop the things uh, like Matthew or um, um, Peter, right? Simon Peter and Andrew and James and John. You notice they, they just drop everything and they follow him. Um, and so it's teaching us to drop those things that uh, are sinfulness. You know, the things that, that get in the way of our relationship with God, that get in the way of uh, helping us to realize our true fulfillment. Uh, and our true self-worth and value and our own dignity as it is found in Christ and Christ alone. Um, I think I'm going to stop there. Um, you guys got it, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I played trivia last night and I think I stayed up a little too later. So, <laughs> And I forgot stuff last night like I'm doing this morning. So 